Hello kids, we hope you are doing well. We are back with our third in the series and this week our topic is peace. Now I wonder, you've looked at your little diagrams, I hope you've got them with you and you're wondering which one it might be. Well, the one that's got pieces is an orange. Let's cut it open and have a little look. <laughs> I mean, what's this knife? Wow, need a new knife. There you go. And as you see, when an orange is peeled and we sort of continue to cut it open, oh, you get like pieces of orange, don't you? Like it all's in segments and you can, I don't know if you can quite see that segment there. And you get segments, pieces in an orange. So that's our link today. Now I wonder if I said to you to close your eyes and think of somewhere peaceful, where would your mind go? Maybe you would go, um, maybe you would go to like up in a cloud or something like that. Maybe you would go to a beach or a walk in the forest. Maybe you're just like lying on your bed um, or something like that. And so peace is like we have those images. Now why is it we think of those places? Well, it's probably because they comfort us. They make us feel safe. They make us feel everything's going to be okay. And I guess that's what peace is, isn't it? It's that moment when we feel like we don't have to fight, we don't have to struggle, we can just be okay. And even when everything else is going on around us, we have a sense of peace in us. Now, sometimes in life, it can be hard. And I'm sure for some of you guys, you've had those moments where it's difficult, maybe something at school's difficult, you've got exams, and you you feel this sense of, I don't feel peaceful right now. Well, I want to explain how God can still work in those moments and we can still experience peace. There's a a brilliant verse, Philippians 4 verse 7, the peace of God goes beyond all understanding and it will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Jesus. I want you to imagine a story like this. One day you wake up for school and you, you get up, what do you do? You pick you change into your clothes for the day maybe, or you go have a shower, um, and then you brush your teeth, make sure your teeth are clean, then you go downstairs and have your breakfast, or you do it the other way around because you want your teeth to be clean. Yeah, you eat your breakfast, then brush your teeth, that's the right way around. Well anyway, after you've done all those things, you go, right, I've got my school bag, I'm packed, I'm ready to go, and you open the front door. And as you open the front door, there is a humongous rock in the way. You know, where did this rock come from? Why is there a rock in front of my door? And I can't get out the door. And you might suddenly at that moment be panicked. You'd be like, well, how are we going to get rid of this? Am I ever going to get out of my house? Will I get to school on time? Am I going to get in trouble because of this rock? You would have all these questions and you could really become uneasy about it. Now, the reason you might be uneasy is because you do not have the ability or the power. You're not bigger than the rock, so you can't move it. You need someone who is bigger. And so when God says about his peace that goes beyond understanding, he is trying to say to us, no matter what you face, no matter what struggle, I am bigger. You may remember of the story of um, Jesus taking the disciples, uh, well, the disciples are out on the lake in the storm and the waves are raging and they're scared and then Jesus comes and he brings peace. And although they were terrified of the wind and the waves, when Jesus came, he told the storm to calm and they were at peace. Go back to that rock again. Think about that. Imagine now you've got to school. The rock's still there in front of your door. Um, and you're walking home with your mate. And, uh, and they go, hey, you've got a giant rock in front of your door. And you're like, yeah, I know. It turned up this morning. It's really difficult to get out. And it's a bit of a problem, isn't it? And they might say, aren't you worried about that rock? See, if you know someone bigger and stronger that's going to get rid of the rock, you'd be like, eh, ah, it's going to get sorted. It's okay. And for each one of us in our lives, we can have really difficult moments where we maybe feel alone, we feel picked on, maybe we feel stressed about exams, or something in our life just doesn't feel right and we, and we feel upset. But God says he can fill us with his peace. And even though it doesn't make sense to those people, those friends that look at the rock and go, that's crazy. Even though people may say, you couldn't be peaceful in this situation, God says, By his Holy Spirit, he can give us a peace that goes beyond all understanding. Maybe this week, uh, at any point, if you find yourself in that place where you feel, I don't know what to do, I feel upset or frustrated or worried about something, try just taking yourself up to your bedroom, sit on your bed and close your eyes. And just pray that um, God would fill you with his Holy Spirit and you would know his peace. I'm going to finish by reading our verse 
once again, which is Galatians 5, 22. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Thank you.